afternoon. It is Wednesday, May 12th. Glad you made it back to the garden for a visit. You know what? It's warmed up enough. We're going to go ahead and plant something. You want to see how we plant tomatoes to trellis? Come on, let's plant. Now, I went ahead and got a little ahead of you guys. Like we did last year, we went ahead and used our spade as a plumb bob. That'll show us where the center of the ten tomato needs to be. I've already gone ahead and pulled the mulch back. So let's take our shovel off. I'm gonna dig a little hole. Now I'm gonna try something different this year. I find it makes planting a little easier if you go ahead and do a little of the pre-prep first. Pull the mulch back, center up your holes. Like we did last year, we're gonna take a little bit of mulch and mix in with the soil. Oh, that should be pretty good. All right. Now we're going to do a little something different this year. Once this gets a little size to it, we're going to go ahead and use this string as a trellis. So we want to plant it just a little ahead of the string. We're going to dig out just a little bit. Mix that up with the compost. That's what we're going to use the backfill with. Now that string is right about the top of that hole. Now if you remember last year, Johnny, a subscriber, said he used some Epsom salts. Okay, what he did, he put just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon, like about a tablespoon, down in the bottom of the hole, put a little soil on top of it, and then went ahead and planted. We got some of Leon's Cherokee tomatoes that germinated really well. We're gonna have to give this one a little drink once we get it in. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pinch out the bottom leaves. We'll plant that deep enough that it's gonna be able to get some roots going. We take some of our compost and soil mix. Lightly put it around there. Snug that down, continue to fill the hole. Now you're getting up around the stem where we took the leaves off. Bring the mulch back in around. We should have a happy tomato. We're gonna go ahead and do this row with the Epsom salts and the Cherokees, and then we'll do this other row without Epsom salts and see if it makes a difference. And if you need to, just give it a little drink. So don't forget to cover up that Epsom salts down in the bottom of the hole. And there's row one. Well, there's 20 tomatoes. It's gonna get dark. I'll get a bunch more in tomorrow. We'll get all 20 of those trellised up. You'll be amazed at how much room we save. Well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> I got a whole nother string. I'm not even sure how, I don't know what you, Leon, I'm glad all those seeds didn't germinate. I don't know if I could get them all in the ground. Bear, if you want a spot, you gotta get those over here, ASAP. Well, they look little now. The Epsom salts is gonna make a nice experiment. We're gonna do this other row without Epsom salts. And we'll see if, We'll see what kind of difference they make. I know the Cherokees, they're indeterminate, so they're gonna grow tall. We're gonna put in peppers, and that'll go over on the west side where we get some shade in the afternoon. We've done really well with peppers. 
And I think you're going to be very surprised at the ones that we overwintered. We lost half of them in the polar vortex, but some of them came through. We're going to go ahead and get those back in the garden. So if you want to see us pull up the peppers for the winter, click that link right there, and I'll meet you back in the garden. Until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.